So what did Tim Cook tell you, Peter? Well, he didn't actually say anything. It was a gesture. Is about all we got from Tim Cook as he left the room. I asked him, do you feel like you had an opportunity to make your case in front of the Senate Permanent Subcommittee on Investigations? He gave me a thumbs up, uh, the indication, yes, that he felt like he had made his case. He gave no other comments as he exited the building here and made his way into a cab. The CEO of the most profitable technology company in the world jumped into a cab outside this building just a short time ago. And his first trip to Capitol Hill, uh, his first testimony to Capitol Hill, officially over. He got a grilling from some members of this panel, particularly the chairman, Carl Levin, over again, Apple's tax practices, but by and large, Tim Cook stood his ground and he had some defenders on the panel as well. Emily, I should point out, uh, uh, some of them are questioning why Apple was being singled out here, in particular, Rand Paul of Kentucky uh, leading that charge. He suggested that Apple deserved an apology for being brought here and doing only what other uh, publicly uh, traded companies uh, do, and that is looking out for their shareholders by trying to minimize their tax obligations. And, you know, interesting, even as Senator Carl Levin was grilling these Tim Cook and, and the other Apple executives, he pulled out his iPhone and said, look, I do love my iPhone, but this is still a very important issue. Peter, tell us where we go from here. Well, the, the bigger question is, and where this uh, hearing really turned, where there was agreement on all sides, both from Tim Cook and from many of the senators there, Democrats and Republicans, the need to update the tax code, particularly the business ta tax code. Tim Cook saying Apple is prepared to get rid of all the tax breaks out there on the corporate tax books as long as the corporate rate can come down, he suggested, somewhere in the mid-20s, and that the rate charged on income earned overseas brought back to the U.S., he suggested it should be in the single digits. He's going to find a lot of agreement on that score uh, from both Democrats and Republicans, but this is a very heavy lift here in Congress. And again, Emily, the big issue there is can you do corporate tax code overhaul without doing the individual tax rates? That's when you run into the real political problems.